What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Last filler and the only filler we needed to sell the last nine spots in here for a limited optic mixer with this 2022 Topps Chrome Update Baseball Hobby. One box break number five. So, again, guys, do the break first. Randomize customer names. Teams distribute the hits out. Then, at the end, we'll take the customer names, randomize them again, and top nine get in. So, here we go, guys. Dice roll it. Boom. Two and a five, seven times. Good luck. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Seven times. Two and a five, seven. Kev down to Charles. And we got seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, Kev, down to the White Sox. And again, no trading, guys. Just stick to what you got. Quickly, just give you a glance at your teams. But it's just a quick box break. We're not shipping the veteran base, just any of the hits. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they're going to trade Joseph Fields either. I mean, but, I mean, if I had to choose between Justin Fields and, and Bryce Young, I'd probably go Bryce Young. He's just one of those quarterbacks like Trevor Lawrence. You know, honestly, like Andrew Luck, where they just look like they're going to be the guy coming out of college. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I believe more in him than I would Fields. But, I mean, it, it, obviously, Fields can still turn out to be a nobody, too. You know. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's tough. I'm pretty sure they probably would trade their number one pick. And it's not like they're going to drop back that far. They're probably going to just drop to, like, three, four, five and get some picks in the future. But... You just never know. What if they fall in love with a guy that's, you know, top pick and they want to take him at one? I mean, we don't know. Um, I don't think we observe all of the federal holidays. The only holidays we observe that we'll be close for, for sure, are just the main ones. Like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's, Thanksgiving, and Fourth of July. I think every other holiday will always be open for the most part. Unless we don't have, like, shop uh, employees available to work on a Monday for a holiday. We just get the main ones. Alright, come on, Jaguars. I want to see this comeback. Ooh, what a pass by Herbert, though. Yeah, they want to go quick because they know he dropped it. Oh, no, it came out. Damn, that ball came out too. Nope. That would be an incomplete pass, damn. Jaguar should have just thrown the fly, who cares? I don't think, I'm not to say your prediction would be wrong, but they wouldn't trade Pittman and their fourth. They would most likely trade their fourth and a future first round pick next year. And probably some second rounders and etc. 
Just kind of similar to what most teams do. I don't think they would trade Pittman, to be honest. It would be just future first rounders plus what they have already. Julio! And Rene Pinto to 250. But yeah, your reference to Mitchell Javisky would be just right, though. They would probably get multiple first rounders for the number one. Because, yeah, they technically don't need a quarterback, so they wouldn't need to draft Bryce Young unless, like I said, in the draft process, they just fall in love with Bryce Young and they find a way to maybe somebody take Justin Fields. But I think right now, that's not their plan. See, that's the one thing. It's kind of hard to say, yeah, they're going to not trade or they're going to trade because they're still going to go through all the draft process. You know, think of like the Eagles, right? I mean, I think the Eagles knew of Wentz's like injuries per se being a problem. But I didn't think going and signing Hurts was like the answer at the time, right? I just thought of that more as a controversy. But, you know, Howie Roseman loved Jalen Hurts in the second round, so he took him. But they were like, no, 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 Carson Wentz is still the guy, though. Carson Wentz is still the guy. You know, but then all that pressure kind of crumbled him. So it's like until you fall, until you finally see the draft picks and you get to talk to them in person in meetings and stuff like that, then finally you figure out what you're going to do with your picks or future. All right, guys, so there you go. Switch scenes now. Here's a dice roller. There's a customer name. I remember top nine get in. Roll it. One and a four or five times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five. Five times, five times. Top nine are in. Tristan, you're in. Brian, Chuckster, Barry, Jay, Chuckster, 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 and Chuckster. Congratulations. So, top nine are in the next break. I think you did extremely well for your first filler, Chuckster. So, there you go, guys. Coming up next is the break itself.